It's finally here, the day that you've all been waiting for, the full release of Raventuli Coast. We're out here in Finland, and today we're going to be hunting for everything that we possibly see, which basically we're going to see a bunch of whitetail, brown bear, and then we're going to find some capricali, some lynx, some moose, and then there's even some raccoon dogs as well. And just like that, we got our first sighting of the whitetail deer. Not a bad sized buck right there. And then we got a couple of does as well as another buck right there. Now, because this is our first zone, we only want to take down two. And it's actually a good thing that it's highlighted right now because otherwise you probably won't even be able to see that far. All right, so we got a 150 right there and a 150 right there. We're gonna try and double up here. Ooh, hold up. We might want to take a look at this brown bear first. Because since it is a boar, it might be a nice male. Ooh, it's a giant mythical. All right, well, change of plans here. We are definitely going after this mythical first. And I want to turn that off real quick and try and get a nice shot at this big mythical about 230 yards out. All right, there he is right there. All we got to do is get him to turn back and we can get a nice opportunity for a shot here. Definitely not about to try a Texas heart shot on a big brown bear, that's for sure. But I don't know what we're going to be able to do if he doesn't turn here in a little bit and give us a shot. Could maybe try and see if I can get his attention. There we go. What do we got? We dropped something. I am not about to pass up the opportunity on anything that we see here. I know we're tracking down that bear, but we just got something. I think it might be a grouse. It's a hazel grouse. Very cool. 49 yards out, 375 female. Super, super cool looking grouse. And we're getting a call from a black grouse. Ooh, I kind of want to go over there and go see this real quick. Let's go over here and see if we can't jump it up. But I don't see any sign of this hazel grouse over here anywhere. They're very difficult to see. And a lot of times if you run towards them, they'll just run the opposite direction. So you got to get super lucky. You know what? I think I'm going to take down that white tail buck though. About 200 yards out right there. And we'll drop him right on the spot. You would think that that would kick up that grouse. But I am not seeing it kick up anywhere. So it either kicked up before we got here or... Okay, that's another hazel grouse. We'll go over there in a second and check that out. But for now, let's go over here and pick up this white tail. And then I want to try and get back on that mythical bear. A lot of people were asking me about the lag before. And trust me, it's not my computer. It seems to be... Oh, what do we got out there? There's not a bad looking white tail buck. Let's take him down as well. About 200 yards out. Hold it right on that front shoulder and just drop him right on the spot. Nice shot there. Um, but it seems to be in areas like this where it's near the edge of the waterfronts that, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's hard for the, the computer to process it, even though I have a really good PC. It just, um, yeah, I guess it kind of tends to lag a little bit in some of these spots. Like right now, I'm running 50 FPS and I should be at 60 all the time. So when it gets down to like 52... It kind of concerns me a little bit, but there's really not much you can do about it. And I do, in fact, think that it's probably going to get fixed um, during the next update when uh, they kind of fix all the, the small issues and whatnot that they find. For instance, I already found one issue, but that's not a bad shot. 190 yards out, 180. I like that rack a lot. That's not a bad looking buck. But here's hold up. Hold up. We got some more bucks out here. There's one right there. I should probably take him down as well. He's hit. I hit him a little far back though. Not going to lie about that. He's hit a little far back. He's going down. Either way, that'll take him down. But here's an issue that I did in fact find. So if you go into inventory, it doesn't even show up anymore. 
or the wheel that organizes whatever you want to load into your inventory does not show up anymore. So that's kind of one of the things that I found needs to get fixed. But for the time being, it is what it is. And our buck is down there, but it led us to some more bucks down there. And that is a really nice one. In fact, there's two really nice bucks down there. Three really nice bucks down there. Holy look at all of the really really nice bucks but that buck right there definitely has my interest 300 yards out and he's a guaranteed gold potential white tail it should be like a 215. let's hold for the heart a little bit high but actually we smoked him and he's gonna fall right into the water right there I could probably take that one as well we got him he's hit he's hit solid but yeah i kind of forgot what i was talking about before oh now i remember it had to do with fixing the lag so when they have the new update which is going to fix all the small issues like i just showed you the inventory issue then that lag should be fixed especially like people that don't have super good pcs yeah i mean they're gonna fix <laughs> no! oh no Oh, we ran all the way over here and now our big buck decides to just randomly float back to the other side. But we do have a buck over here as well, don't we? I thought one of our bucks went down here, didn't it? Oh yeah, it did right here. See, I knew we went here for a reason. And then we shot at another buck over there as well, which yeah, I'm pretty sure it did in fact go down, but... It wasn't a perfect shot. There we go. Would have been an epic shot. 170 yards out, but got him a little bit high and got vertebrae on that. Still a nice buck. But yeah, there goes our big buck over there. So we're going to have to come back to the other side. And then I really want to find that mythical brown bear. So we spotted him over here. In fact, I believe I have his tracks over here. Yeah, brown bear going this direction. So since we have to go over here anyways to pick up this buck, we're going to get over there, try and get back on the trail. Look at our buck still didn't make it here yet. <laughs> He's still just a cruising. Just a cruising. But we're going to pick him up and then try and get back on that brown bear track and hopefully be able to find him. Nonetheless, this should be by far our biggest whitetail of the new map. And it's going to be a 229 what a buck 329 yard perfect shot and a nice gold got him right in the front shoulder there but an epic rack on that buck Ooh, i kind of want to find one of these i've been looking for one for quite a while that's the male western copper coyote nine to eleven pounds so it's a pretty good size weight i think we're gonna go track this down and see if we can't find it one thing I did notice about this map, though, is if you don't have your tracks on, ooh, it's going to take a long time to find animals. And I mean a long time. I typically don't like using my tracks, but I also don't like wasting three hours to be able to find one cool animal. <laughs> so we're going to be using our tracks and try and find some cool stuff. All right, let's go over here and go track this down. Oh, it probably was right here. Look, we got his resting zone or feeding zone, whatever it is. Yeah, we got his feed zone right here. So I'm wondering if we must have potentially kicked him up. We got deer over here as well. Look at that. All right, let's try and figure out where this thing went. Run. Okay, so we definitely kicked it up. I never saw it run, though. All right, I got an idea because I really want to get this male capper Kyle. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a tent right here, right? And then we're going to come back in the morning and try and ease our way over to that spot, sneak over there and hopefully spot that male capper Kyle. What is this? It's not a capper Kyle. That is actually the feeding zone from the giant mythical that we were looking for from before. We didn't find the copper Kyle, but we found tracks. 
from the big brown bear that we're looking for but that's definitely his track 100 percent yep right there you can see it's blue so he feeds here from midnight until 4 30 in the morning so he already left all right this thing just definitely made the wrong move because now he's right out in the wide open all right i just got eyes on our big mythical he's right there 190 yards out trotting through i'm pretty sure right yep there he is come on turn a little more oh you're not gonna do that to me no you're not that is not happening oh give me the horrible absolute most horrible angle possible and i gotta take a shot and make that work like seriously well one thing if we didn't make a good enough shot then we'll have to put a follow-up into him what do we got out there now um i think that might be like a hazel grouse I'm gonna go over there and go check it out. I don't want to spot it because I want to make sure. Dude, we freaking pulled it off, baby! Yes! How did we pull off that shot? How? I don't know how, but we did. It's a hazel grouse and it's a male, sweet. I can't believe we have honey pressure here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what that was, but I wasn't risking it. Holy! That's a moose. Where's my red dot when I need it, you know? Ooh. That's a good buck. We'll take him down as well. All right. We are trying to find that male hazel grouse, which... Oh, freaking giant buck. Giant buck right there. Oh, my God. Where's my red dot sight? I don't know where my red dot sight is. I can't use it right now. But either way, we're taking down this big, big white tail buck. 237. Holy, look at the size of that buck. 50 yards out. That's our biggest buck of the day. All right. So now we got to try and figure out where our brown bear went. There's the track. Oh my God, guys, we did it. I mean, I know we looked and we saw the hunting pressure, but to be honest, I was kind of thinking we might have hit intestine, but now that just confirms that we made an incredible vital hit on the trot, quartering away at almost 250 yards the absolute worst possible angle that you could take on a brown bear and we took it and made it count i'll definitely take that boy could you imagine tracking down this brown bear with just barely these little amounts of blood like this i couldn't even imagine that like, without our tracks on right now, there is no way we would have found this bear. Whoa! Cow moose. I thought it was a brown bear, but it's just a cow moose. Here he is, guys. We finally got him. Our monster mythical grizzly. I knew I was going to call it a grizzly. Our monster brown bear. 250 yards, and we somehow tucked it right in there. And smoked him in the left lung. 26.3. Cinnamon. Oh, he's a cinnamon. Our first cinnamon brown bear. What an epic shot and what an awesome moment. I mean, look at That's literally the angle that we had right there. We're shooting right for his hind quarter. And trying to catch just in front of it so for instance if we would have hit right here yeah that's where the lung is technically but you're not going to get past that hind quarter that meat is so thick right there that good luck not only that you're going to hit the uh hip bone as well and that's going to slow it down so we literally had to hug right on the edge of that little hip bone or i should say the hind quarter and catch 
the top of that lung and we did just that man was that awesome oh my god you guys i can't believe it but we finally found our male western capricile and there he is right out there what an incredible species now we have the 12 gauge with the red dot but we also have the 22 so because i don't think we're going to be able to get close enough to use the shotgun i don't really want to risk spooking him and i think we just might go for about like a 150 yard shot and i feel like that's pretty much the best thing we could do yeah he's about 180 right there I can't exactly see him perfect, but I can see him pretty good. All right, so let's make sure we get out our 22. There we go, zero in for 160. And let's get on him. All right, I think he's facing, oh, that's perfect. Smote! Yes! We got him, guys. Our first male Capricyle just hit the ground. And there's a female there as well. There she goes. Two female. Oh man, you guys have no clue how difficult these are to hunt. I mean, I would love to get one with a 12 gauge and the red dot, but it's almost impossible. All right, here we go. Our first ever male Capricayo laying right over here. Let's have a look. It's going to be pretty cool. I have never seen one of these since the game released. And not only that, I haven't even seen one since the, um, well, since we got early access. So this is literally our first time ever being able to see what they look like. And man, are they incredible. Wow. I've been wanting to see one. I've heard them. I've uh, found tracks from them, but I've just never seen one. And finally, we found one and we were able to take the shot. And it's going to be a gold as well. 4.4 gold and it's a dark Western Capricyle, a nice male. Man, is that awesome. Took him at 180 yards out and hit him pretty solid right in the chest there. Or I should say right in the breastbone. But uh, apparently these things are tough because that didn't hit anything. But it did take them down and that is definitely going to get mounted and going straight into our trophy lodge. There we go. I'm pretty happy about that. As you guys can probably tell, <sighs> this has been a lot of work to try and get this thing. And it's a nice size one as well. 4.4 gold. Whoa, this is pretty cool. I've been wanting to find a nice bull moose just bedded out here for a long time. And that's exactly what we just found. A really solid bull out here bedded at 400 yards out, just right out in the wide open. I was looking for whitetail down here. Then I thought I saw something up on the top. And sure enough, there's a couple of bulls. There's a cow there as well. So there's probably a few more around. But we're going to go for... A 400 yard shot on that bull right there. All right, here we go. Now, I don't want to hold too high because we're kind of at a plain um, level. So I think that should be about right. Ooh. Maybe not. Percentage did not drop at all. What? How? How, how are you going to tell me that? How in the heck can it say 460 yards all of a sudden? No wonder why. It says 406. And now it says 460. Well, there's a little bit of a difference there, don't you think? Wait, that one's 460. Wait a second! What? Why did the percentage not drop at all? Not even like a tiny bit. And now we have hunting pressure. Oh, geese, geese, geese! Oh, we got one, baby! The 
That's what's up! That's what's up! He's going down! They're a little far now. But hey, we did get one. Heck yeah. And it landed like way down there somewhere. Where did it even land? Did it land? Oh, there's blood here. Okay. Well, where did our goose go? Did it not go down? No, we got honey pressure. It definitely went down. Um. Whoa, I see something down there, guys. What do I see? What is that? That is a tree. Yeah, I don't know where it went down. I would have thought it fell down this cliff here. But here's the thing, like, if we get down this cliff, there's no coming back up. Where in the heck did our goose go? I don't know. We'll have to do some thinking. Whoa! Oh my god, how did that not- Hey, look at that! There's our goose right there! <laughs> oh man! It's a brown, and it's a male as well. 72 yards out. Made a pretty decent shot. Hit it nine times as well on the fly. Okay, so we know that you can in fact get a goose at 70 yards out with a 12 gauge. Well, I suppose that's a pretty good indication that that's our bull. I mean, everything else took off except for him. <laughs> so that means that's our bull. Now the next question is, is where in the heck did we hit it? We're about to find out right now. And there we have it. That shot was absolutely perfect. 410 yard left lung shot, dead center, right on the money. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a giant buck. Holy 203 to 240 and I almost just took a shot for 160 Which would have been a horrible idea because that's 370 plus yards out there. I Honestly, don't even want to take that far of a shot. Oh, I'll take this shot though. Oh That was an absolute money shot. What a perfect shot and giant buck hits the water now that buck actually might float over to us I could take that buck too. Not going to though. Yup, there's his track. And there is our buck, just like I thought, right in the middle of this grass patch here. From far away, it doesn't look like there's grass here, but once you get up close, you can definitely see there's some grass. And that's a giant buck, a 409 yard double lung shot, 236.20. What a great, great buck. An absolute giant for uh, Finland out here. It's definitely our biggest one. And we pulled off an incredible shot, quartering away at 410 yards but anyways on that note there that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching but more importantly let me know how you guys feel about the new map ravaduli coast are you guys having fun out here are you liking it aside from the lag which yeah that will be nice once that gets fixed but aside from that how do you guys like the new map let me know hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys are having an amazing week so far thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time